Israeli forces say they are targeting Hezbollah's military infrastructure. At times, that means homes in border villages. Officials in southern Lebanon say up to 250 have been destroyed and 6,000 others damaged along the 120-kilometer border in the past four months of fighting. Israel appears to be creating a new reality. It says it doesn't want its northern border to be vulnerable as its southern one was when the Palestinian group Hamas attacked in October. The Israelis want Hezbollah forces to pull back. Through its attacks, Israel is trying to push the resistance kilometers away from the border, and it's doing it by force, displacement, but slowly, meter by meter, but it won't be able to achieve this. The streets and villages in southern Lebanon are empty. Officials say that around 80,000 people close to the border have been displaced. Daily life has been disrupted, but the handful of those who stayed are defiant. They have tried us in the past. Nothing will make us leave. Not their planes, artillery, drones or white phosphorus. We will remain steadfast because this is our land. It is Israel who should be afraid. So far, the warring sides have confined attacks to military targets. But nearly 30 civilians, including journalists, have been killed. Officials here are warning against Israel's attempts to drag Lebanon into a broader war. They accuse it of expanding the scope of its attacks while threatening and promoting proposals that are rejected, such as pushing Hezbollah north of the Latani River, which is about 25 kilometers from the border. Hezbollah says Israeli threats to expand the conflict are just rhetoric and pressure to reach a deal. But Israel has escalated its fight against the group. And for now at least, it is trying to destroy the party's strength south of the Litani River. Zena Khudr Al Jazeera, Southern Lebanon. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.